I don't think we'll go into a junk status. The minister went to town to explain uh, how stable we are and the type of interventions we're making. Uh, he may not have spoken at length about political stability, but all other aspects which make the country to go into a junk status have been deliberately attended to uh, by the minister. It's, it's a difficult time, and that's why as the EFF we are of a view that we need the unity of the country. Um, we were looking very carefully at what the minister would say to give uh, hope to the 5.4 million young people who do not have jobs or have given up looking for jobs uh, in South Africa. So we kept a very careful eye on what the minister said about the employment tax incentive. What he said in his budget was a disappointment. He said that the employment tax incentive would be reviewed and possibly extended. We would have liked a much stronger statement to say that the employment tax incentive uh, would be rolled over and funded in the medium term because of course it creates an incentive uh, for businesses to employ uh, young people and give them a uh, work experience. And that would have given hope to the 5.4 million young people who do not have jobs in South Africa. Well, I do something different to that. I check whether it is coherent with what came out of our January 8th statement, with the Likhut of the NC, with the State of the Nation address, and then the allocation of resources to those priority areas. Once that is done, I am comfortable and happy. And I'm sure rating agencies respond to the focus on the policies and implementation thereof and resourcing thereof. Well, I think the message that was sent today by the minister is that of fiscal consolidation to bring the government debt levels in under control. How does one do that? You address the budget deficit. You cut government expenditure as he announced, cutting it by 25 billion rand over three years. From the SAS SA point of view, how did you find the, the budget? Well, we don't comment on uh, policy issues. We just look at the numbers. <laughs> uh, we'll be releasing the quarter labor force survey tomorrow as well as uh, the GDP figures on the 1st uh, of March.